Hey guys and gals, Homestead Prepper. I want to show y'all my 100% off-grid solar setup. I don't have a solar cabin, but I do have a solar shipping container. Let's take a look at it. I got the solar panels mounted on the roof. Let's, uh, let's go up here and take a look at it. Okay, those are two 280 watt, 36 volt solar panels. I bought those used. Uh, they do not have the efficiency they had when they were brand new, but it actually works out pretty good for the charge controller I have. And these are wired in parallel, and literally the solar setup is right underneath there. So let's uh, let's take a look at that. All right, I got the panels coming down. I got it in conduit, and I have a ground router. Now, guys, this is not finished, and this is my uh, ground wire. Still needs to be hooked up to the controller, and there's some other stuff that needs to be done out here. So this is just a preliminary uh, viewing of it. Okay, this is my uh, solar setup right here, guys. Now. Uh, this is a work in progress. I'm not finished with it yet. Uh, there's still some stuff left to do. There's some things I have to make. I know the uh, all you YouTube uh, solar experts out there are going to gig me on some stuff on this, but uh, I'm not exactly finished. But uh, for your information, um, you trolls out there, uh, I am on the Planitia Yards of Mars, and uh, at this time there are no solar power police here yet. I'm sure there will be in the future. But for now, <laughs> uh, this is what I got. Let's, uh, let me show you a little more about it. Basically, what I've got is that conduit brings the solar power in here, and I've got the runs paralleled, and some of you will notice that those are just square D QO breakers, and if you look them up, they're good to 48 volts DC. Okay, if you exceed the voltage, like if I were to run those panels in series up there 36 plus 36 is 72 I would exceed the capacity of these inexpensive high quality breakers here so I'm just running 36 volts uh, like I said paralleled and then that goes up to the charge controller and I, like I said there's some stuff that needs to be finished here but it's uh, low voltage it's 12 volts and I've got the main fusing here and then I have a 2000 watt inverter okay and then that's 4 aught cable and that comes down to um, my batteries. Now I opted for a 12 volt system and the reason I opted for that guys is because uh, well the batteries are <laughs> inexpensive uh, or they used to be so those are golf cart batteries 225 amp hour uh, batteries and they're 6 volts so what I've done is put two batteries in series uh, three sets of 12 volts and then those are in parallel so and guys the reason I went with a 12 volt system is I have the capacity here to charge up the battery on my tractor vehicles now I could have gone with a 48 volt setup and I could have bought two more batteries and had a string there and a lot of people say that's better and you know if that works for you that's great but you know my thinking was well what if one of those batteries goes bad or two or three of them go bad you know, I'm not going to have 48 volts to run in a 48 volt converter, so I bought a 12 volt inverter. The other thing is, too, is when the crap does hit the fan, there's probably not going to be any gasoline to go out. And there's going to be a lot of uh, vehicles around with batteries that uh, people aren't being used, and uh, you might get them pretty cheap. So, yeah, but Homestead Prepper, uh, a 12 volt car battery is not going to last on this. Well, guys, if I'm getting them for free, <laughs> then I don't really care about that if it only lasts a couple months, you know, we can just start swapping them out in that type of scenario. But uh, guys, this uh, this system, now we're, it's still early in the morning, we're not uh, putting out a whole lot right now, and the batteries uh, have been drained down a little bit since yesterday, like they do, and I've got it where they're drained down to about 30% capacity, so they should have a long life. But um, this is uh, those solar panels up there make about you know, anywhere from 1800 to 2000 watts a day it depends um, so just say you know around a 2000 watt system 
these batteries give me 2400 watts of capacity at 30 percent of their use instead of draining them down to 50 percent I went with 30 percent and um, 2000 watts gives me the ability to run let's go over here this and I think uh, this is very important or it's actually like a luxury a huge convenience in a grid down situation has a lot of um, potential some of you will recognize my off-grid shower right there let's just take a look you can see um, I, I need to buy some uh, pans so I can make some ice blocks and I'll do another video on this right here the importance of it when the crap does hit the fan so okay guys well that's my simple solar setup and we are 100% off-grid and like I said, there's a couple things I need to do here, and you know, I need to buy some more lugs, and need to make it look a little more professional. But um, it works, and it's making ice. And the uh, freezer over there uses about. Well, let me just show that to you. You can look at this, and the freezer uses about 224 kilowatt hours over the course of a year now what that does is that comes out to I think if I'm doing my math right my memory uh, 668 watts or 608 watts I don't remember exactly what it comes out to but uh, well within capacity of my um, solar setup so uh, and then there's some losses you know through the inverter and the charge controller so I figured about 770 watts a day goes to this um, this chest freezer so that leaves me about let's just say a thousand watts that I can what was important to me was being able to charge up my battery tools and um, you know my cordless tools uh, I can also with an extra thousand watts a day you know we could watch you know some TV <laughs> you imagine that watching TV in, in a grid down situation but uh, you could uh, definitely have some luxuries that you wouldn't normally have with uh, a solar setup and guys I didn't go out and buy all this stuff all at once this this has been a project that's been going on for quite a while so but anyway we're at the point now I'm actually getting something out of it so anyway I just wanted to share that with you Homestead Prepper out